I'm back again. <laughs> Sorry for scaring you, you know, it's the coffee talking about. This is a VCLT video. Thank you for the VCLT. Um, guys, check out Maggie's uh, video she did uh, for me. I received her package super fast from the US. She picked up a, a record she wanted me to have. I'm really happy about that. Uh, at the fair I was talking about, I picked up some stuff for her and some other people and shipped that out. And she got that super fast. I don't know how fast, uh, I don't know how, how they could deliver in such great time because, yeah, I got her package just like, what was it, like four days after she sent it? I was really shocked um, and then she got hers the other day and made a great video uh, watched out uh, that one and check out that one I'm really happy to uh, do a VCLT with another female here um, we don't have much females in the VC uh, and I don't have much uh, contact with other women doing videos um, too bad because it's really fun to do this and of course uh, Maggie um, has been doing this for quite some time doing lots of great videos um, I really like the enthusiasm um, uh, you have Maggie for discovering new uh, music all the time I relate to that and I can't believe I, I, I'm really happy that you are discovering Black Sabbath and Deep Purple and that stuff now Hope you enjoyed those records I sent to you. You really seemed to like them. I sent you some Black Uhuru, yes. And uh, she sent me some Reggae too. So, first of all, thank you for the note. Uh, she sent me this little letter here. Um, really happy about what she, uh, she said. She, uh, she wrote that. She loves listening uh, to me talking about my music and the photos I share on Facebook and it's a pleasure knowing you so on and the best thing she wrote here or <laughs> the most beautiful thing uh, is you are such a great soul it shines in the way you speak so thank you Maggie thank you for those words are warming my Swedish soul with these words and I feel the same way you know uh, we both had things happening in life I believe and you are a very strong woman a strong spirit and I'm so glad you uh, are really diving into music and collecting records and enjoying the kick out of that you know um, it's a great feeling and even though it's mostly men that collect records or so we women want a piece of the cake and we need to represent so first of all or second of all after the letter here is what she sent me you know with the the shrink on it's a reissue of one of the best reggae albums of all time, Hot of the Congo, by the Congos. Um, I showed this after record study, I showed this at a, at a, at a CD I picked up there. Um, I had a hard time finding uh, the vinyl, especially here in Sweden. Um, some uh, stores has it in Scandinavia or so, but yeah, postage and all of that, it becomes quite expensive, but this is great, and I must say it sounds so superior to the CD, such a more, uh, a bassy drive, you know, it's much more heavier, and yeah, if you turn it up, the bass really flows around in the room you know it, it's not um, it's not a super production on this one but 
it is great. It's great. It's full of great songs. I really, I'm always singing both Fisherman, of course, my favorite song ever by the Congos is Children Crying. Also, Ark of the Covenant. Great, 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 great album. And I know a lot of you people uh, feel the same way. Yeah, a new glossy black vinyl. So thank you Maggie for taking the time, making the effort of finding this for me and sending it all the way to Sweden. I know you haven't sent any stuff here or nearby uh, yet, except this is really, really happy. I'm sure you and Miko will do a trade or something later on also. Um, uh, and I think the postage to fin Finland uh, must be something like Sweden, but that wasn't enough. You know, I sent her three records and she was really happy about that. Great to see. Of course I had to surprise with you. Surprise you with some Deep Purple there. Um, she sent me some movies. Uh, American pressings. No, but yeah, it's uh, region one, so... Uh, I'm really happy I got my, I, I, I got a region free a DVD player, so I'm really happy about that. I could play this uh, really good. We were talking on Facebook about what kind of movies we like and uh, yeah, I'm a horror freak most of the time. Um, sometimes I don't like to watch horror, uh, but when I'm feeling good, I really love this sort of stuff and I have done so for since I was a kid actually. Um, so really happy. Um, first of all, paranormal activity. Uh, of course, uh, I, I quite like these uh, ones, but the first one is the best. The first and second, I think. Um, I, I wasn't a fan of Blair Witch Project when it came, but paranormal activity uh, did something um, new, I think, of course, really low budget, um, became, a, I think, what is it, four, five, four, yeah, uh, uh, after this, I've seen everyone, but yeah, I like the first one, didn't have this on DVD at all or anything, so really happy, we saw this the other night, yeah, quite creepy you know uh, one of my friends when this came she saw this and sh she was like creeped out uh, for forever she's still creeped out about this I just saw right now that it says disc made in Mexico here there <laughs> really cool so thank you Maggie for that we'll go into the shelves you know, the Kia shelves, they are filled already. I need to get more of that. That will go into the horror. I have everything by genre in here, so as with records. Also, she sent me, of course, this is the Rob Zombie directed uh, Halloween. Um, the remake or so. Um, he really did a, a, another uh, thing with um, the remake, you know, Rob Zombie is a huge horror fan, uh, but I liked uh, had this one, the first one, Halloween, even though it's very different, uh, more creepier, it's a, in another way, you have to say, of course he goes over the top sometimes, and this was really nice, I had this on, on the European DVD, but not the unrated di director's cut so not the two discs so this is really good to have two discs of that Spe special features and the the unrated one um, lots of different stuff I haven't seen this version yet has special features like um, 
documentary here, the many masks of Michael Myers, meeting the cast and so on. Of course, you recognize the one who plays the doctors in this Clockwork Orange there, of course. So really cool to have this great cover on this. Uh, the US version seem to have uh, in many ways more extra tough and unrated things. It's quite sometimes it's hard to find that stuff here. She also sent me the unrated director's cut of Hostel 2. Now um, my partner really likes the Hostel series uh, and showed me one and two when we met. Of course directed by Eli Roth because it's so brutal, you know. My partner is almost more brutal than me in that way. Um, and I don't I do believe we didn't have the unrated version. Um, so we have two uh, of this now uh, and <laughs> I want to watch this instead of, of that version. <laughs> uh, lots of special features we didn't have. Uh, Hostel Part 2 a legacy of torture. The next level deleted scenes, uh, blood and guts gag reel, yeah, so really cool. We'll have to watch one and these two um, in one evening soon. Really cool. I, uh, Maggie doesn't isn't much for uh, horror movies. Um, uh, she's she's a bit of a, a screamer, I think she said. Um, nice uh, but uh, so really happy that she took the effort to send me some Sara stuff that I might like even though she's not into that as much uh, thank you Maggie for this uh, it's very interesting that now these past two weeks I have gotten like in my last video the one from Stefan I got three uh, blu-rays with her stuff only and now three DVDs with her stuff. I haven't gotten any movie uh, horror or movies before in VCLT so it's really cool that uh, now when I'm into a period, period I really want to watch, watch a lot of movies and horror movies again I get two packages with three each so that's really cool and interesting. I like that. I really like that. Records and movies. I like other stuff too, but records and movies and yeah, comics and robots and that stuff. That's just happy times for me. So thank you very much, Maggie. Uh, um, hope you are doing great, you and your son. Uh, I have to say this on video also. Great shells that you made for Brandon for his birthday there. Check out that video that Brandon did. Um, she made him some shelves for his cassettes. Finally, I've been waiting for Brandon to get his cassettes in order because he, he lives in a uh, music store, you know, in a record store. And uh, it was really nice to see him uh, having his um, cassette collection um, organized and on those great shelves uh, so you did a great job Maggie I really like that strong woman making her own shelves hey you can come by anytime here in Sweden and we'll make some more <laughs> more shelves for the movies and stuff now but anyway um, you said you wanted me to come over there to the US uh, me and Nosferatu would like to come uh, really hope I can um, uh, come uh, over to the US sometime. I haven't been traveling much, way too little, so sometime I would like to go to the US and meet some of you guys. And you, Maggie, and other people are most welcome to Sweden. We can record shop, watch movies, have a good time. Um, and of course see the Swedish nature and moose maybe uh, can't promise that but thank you Maggie I'm blabbing on sorry about that 
thank you. Thank you for the VCLT. It makes me so damn happy. It comes just in the right time. Um, really happy. Soon I will be back doing more VCLT because I, I believe I have something from uh, on the way from Ramses once again. I uh, have sent him some stuff too, so I hope I will doing a video of that. Uh, next up I will doing a contest um, response in maybe different parts to Vance, the Led Zeppelin freak of course, what I have more than records, music related stuff. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, thank you once again for watching, we'll be back soon, hope you enjoyed Le Urm and the uh, horror stuff and the record, the reggae. Have a nice time.